Hi guys, it's me the Pecan Tan Beauty and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a requested video of how I protect my bags using the Apple brand Guard Rain and Stain Repellent. So I did have a couple of bags that I needed to protect and so I thought why not come on really quick and show you girls how I protect my bags using this product. So as you know, I also am a firm believer and lover of the Apple Guard leather care that I use to condition my bags. And then I normally just follow it up with the rain and stain protectant just to protect it from obviously rain and stains. And these two products together has worked awesome for me. So that's why I continue to stick to them. And I recently have started using the Bic 4 conditioner. Um, it, this is by Bicmore, and it is the Bic 4 leather conditioner. They also have a cleaner to go along with this as well, but I have not tried the cleaner, though I have tried the cleaner for the Apple brand leather care. So what I'm gonna do is I have already conditioned these bags prior, maybe a month or so ago, and I just needed to protect it with the rain and stain repellent. So I thought that I would pull out a light colored bag and also a dark colored bag, just so you can see the effect of each. So the first bag that I'm going to protect is my Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather Buckley Satchel. And this is in the color natural. I know a lot of girls are afraid of doing anything to natural bags. And there are some girls who actually don't like to do anything to their bags, but natural is one color that a lot of us are afraid of because it's not very forgiving when it comes to stains and spots and color transfer. So I thought that I would just show you how I use the rain and stain repellent and how it works perfectly on my bags. So with a bag like this, what I normally do is I tuck in this little piece here for now and I'm going to remove my tassel covers because I want the tassels to get some spray as well and what I do is I just take my rain and stain repellent and you always should give it a very quick shake and you also want to make sure that you are in a well ventilated area. You don't want to do this in your house or in your bathroom. I normally do mine outside just because it is well ventilated. So what I do first is I just hold it back about eight to 10 inches and then I just spray a very light coat and I turn it to the side and then let's get the back. And as you can see, it's not leaving any residue or spots or anything on the bag. So let me just get this side. And then also make sure you get the bottom. And I particularly make sure that I get my corners really, really well. So I may go just a little bit closer on the corners just to make sure that I get that well covered. again and then I lay my strap down and I get my strap and for the handles I just kind of lay them down like this and just spray very lightly And then I do one coat on this side just to get it, make sure I get all angles. And then I pull out the tongue of this one and then I just give it a light spray. I move the little tire here and get the area that was covered. I'm gonna let this sit just a little bit to let it dry 
and in the meantime I will go ahead and move on to the next bag okay so the next bag that I'm going to condition is my Dooney and Burke Florentine leather medium satchel in the color crimson and what I normally do with my satchels I always stuff it all the way to the top because I have seen on some bags like on the third-party sites eBay and places like that where the zipper actually leaves a imprint here or sometimes it will start to rust and you'll have a rusty brown imprint on your bags especially in the lighter bags so anytime that I am spraying my bags I make sure that it is stuffed all the way to the top because I do want the, the spray to get underneath this flap that normally happens when you so with this one it's just the same process I hold it about I'll say six to eight inches away and spray turn to the side the back the other side kind of lift my tassels up back around and then my handles I just kind of go in like that but, and with this one I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to set it to the side and do a second coat on the buckley okay so as you can see this has had a chance to dry you don't see any spots or any little specks of anything on here. Just go back through and I do just a second coat. And again, here we go. So then I just let it dry for about 30 minutes or so and I go back in with my soft cloth and just buff it and there you have it your bag is protected and still remains its beauty anyway guys I hope this was helpful I will put the links down below to these two products and just as a disclaimer I am in no way affiliated with these products at all I purchased these and I have been using these for many years so I just wanted to share with you girls because I have had a few questions on how I use the rain and stain protectant. So anyway, I will see you girls in the next video. Bye guys.